Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about this soft selection tool or soft selection method uh, rather. Uh, I want to show this to you in edit, edit spline and also in edit poly as well. Uh, I know that we haven't got into edit poly yet but this method is mostly used in edit poly so I wanted to show that to you and maybe let this be an introduction as well. So what soft selection does is if you uh, create a spline like this, a line like this, and go to the vertex mode. Uh, you can use this in whichever sub object mode you want, but uh, I think it's it will be easier to show it uh, in the vertex mode. Uh, if you normally select one of these and move it, uh, as you can see, and also as uh, from uh, before, it only moves one vertex, the selected vertex, or if you select uh, two vertices then it will only move the two vertices. Now what soft selection does is it lets you affect the neighbor uh, vertices as well. Okay, If I select one of these and enable it and increase this uh, fall of value you will slowly see that the color of the uh, neighbor vertices change as well. Uh, this means that these vertices will also be affected with this movement uh, right now. Let me show this to you in a more dense uh, spline that way you will I think you will understand this a little bit better let's select one of these and click on soft selection now if I increase this gradually you will see that now the vertices change color and the uh, blue tones means that it will affect less uh, these vertices will be affected less and the orange or yellow or uh, reddish tones means that these vertices will be affected the most. Okay, so if I just move this, now you can see that um, these, even these vertices move. And now, uh, now these, this vertex is closer to these, uh, it will affect those as well. Okay, this is what soft selection does. This is useful for creating organic surfaces, uh, maybe some landscape, or even in the characters that bends their uh, ankles, wrists, or whatever. Uh, you use this to deform the mesh uh, in a certain way, okay? Because whenever you uh, move one of your joints, you can see that the skin around it will be affected somewhat like, uh, somewhat like this, right? Uh, some portion of the skin will be affected uh, most and some of the uh, skin will be affected uh, less, okay? So this is what soft selection does. So let's see this in an edit poly uh, object. Let's create a box for this. And let's increase the segments of this box. If I hit F4, I can see the segments. Let's uh, input 10 by 10 by 10. And now we have a lot of vertices that we can affect. Now if I add an edit poly modifier on top of this, or you can just right click convert to edit poly, as you know from before. And hit 1, select one of these. Now if I enable the soft selection, you will have a better understanding uh, how this works because I guess this two-dimensional thing is a little bit better or easier to understand because we have a circular range or uh, area of effect and now if I pull this up you can see that not only this vertex but also these vertices get affected with that transform action and you can also uh, use this with rotate and scale as well but I guess mostly I've used this with move uh, but scale is all could also be useful uh, now that I play with it, some uh, something came to my mind, but uh, but uh, whatever. Okay, you can increase the area of effect again, as you can see, or even you can change the this shape in here. Okay, let me show that to you as well. It's a little bit cool. I'll increase the area of effect and then play with these two values, pitch, uh, pinch, and bubble. Uh, if I increase the pinch value, you'll see that we we will have a more uh, sharp uh, pointy edge like this or if I decrease this you will see that we have an indent and in the peak point of this heel let's say okay or you can play with the bubble which will blow the uh, cheeks up a little bit and now if I increase this or raise this you can see that we have a circular, more circular shape, I guess. Okay. 
it's a cool tool. You can do a lot of things with this. So I recommend you to play with this. I'm sure you will uh, be able to get great results uh, with this. Okay. So we will learn more about edit poly in later lessons. Uh, but in the next lesson, we are going to go into a fun subject where we can add volume to 2D shapes. Uh, we'll start with extrude and bevel. So I uh, hope you find this lesson useful. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and you can support us on Patreon, YouTube, whatever. Uh, thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.